Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with gold, officially weighing in at 204 and representing his native nation of Cameroon, the former UFC World Heavyweight Champion, the Predator, Francis Ngannou. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green, trimmed with gold, his official weight, 277.7 pounds. His professional record in the ring, 34 fights, 33 victories, including 24 wins by Defeated knockout. Defeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. You men receive my so here we go then as an event this is been a competitive contest we're all curious as to what may happen the Cristiano Ronaldo at ringside Alexander Usyk behind him and Tyson Fury straight out to meet Francis and with the jab and just box his distance and have a look at his opponent and Garnu called Garnu based on the fact that he could be facing Alexander Usyk before Christmas how he goes about the two rounds it's the first time he's ever boxed in there. Double jab, Tyson. Mike Tyson was famous for that double jab, closing the, the distance. Jab a single shot. That's why he's doubling it up. There he is there, look, with his feet in, and that's, that's when he's got to close the gap down to throw. Of course, the experience and the technical ability of the two of them could actually be poles apart. This is like the table tennis world champion having a game against Novak Djokovic at Wimbledon, and he said he's got a head this His work, thinking about his approach. And uh, that's a and it connects with Nkanu, who took it well, and it's an ambition from Nkanu. Both of them fighting fire with fire. Wimbledon's an overexcited. This Francis Nkanu can set up his opportunities to land Discipline for him, and can he keep it going? That'll be his problem. Long range right hand there, just set up with the left hand first, and then the right hand came over. Fury trying to pop out that responding with a punch to the body. Now, Fury doesn't want to be in the corner like that, because if he does land this punch shot, but at the moment, Ngannou's not taking the bait, so he's not coming forward over his front foot. And that's why Tyson Fury now he's... Both of them landed shot. Fury being safe for him. Gonna get to him if he can. There's a little bit of damage. You hear me? It's the cause it, Richie. Yeah, let's have a look here. That might be the shot. Yeah, I think you're right. Go and lose. If he can do anything tonight, this shock, in my opinion, in boxing history it goes. The better he gets, he's starting to land shots. That's also the Tyson. He's just really warming up to Tyson Fury and just. He wants to come over the front foot, but it's not happening. Switching from orthodox to southpaw inside the final minute of the third round. There he goes! Down goes Fury! It's the big shot! And the heavyweight champion! Look at it, Fletch. So Tyson Fury there trying to land that right arm. Look at it from this angle. Tried to land, and there it was, just on the side, wasn't it? Left, he made the mistake. Didn't get his hand back to that on guard position and gets caught with that left hook. Ngannou's going to be full of confidence now. Ngannou knows he can be pushed. He's still not settled. Keeps going from orthodox to safe for Ngannou. That's a little bit better from Fury, but Ngannou looking to rough him up in there. Listen to the crowd. That's a better word from Fury. Nice and accurate. And Gardo took it. He can't work out his out yet. I'm so boxing. Me. Enough to fall with the 10 8 round. And into the fifth. He's got to get working. And he's got to get working, AT. Break, break, don't watch it. Stop it. Regarded as maybe the greatest sensation in the history of the heavyweight championship. It's been good. 
But Tyson Fury, the man at this stage of the fight. And uh, he's just not so accurate with his work. And there is an example there, just misses with that uppercut. So he's trying different For a man who's fighting at this level, it's all much better. That's a lot better from Fury. Just signs though at the end of the fifth round that he might just be fighting his right Fury. Hasn't been his night up to, up to yet, but that last round then looking better with long range punches. Tyson Fury, we don't know towards the back end of this fight how Francis and Garvey is, but at the moment he's perfectly fine. He's got a clear head and plenty of gas in the tank. Fury back to orthodox. He's been switching between orthodox and southpaw all night, trying to confuse minutes ago in the sixth. See, that's what Tyson Fury. Impressed with Francis Ngannou. Days for Ngannou right now. Nothing past this point as he's even focusing on. Certainly get the impression the rest of the way. Yes, he's got a start. He's expecting. He's probably a bit too there. Hard to actually suss him out what he's thinking. The Fury. That's the point that Dan made between rounds. He doesn't have to do a great deal now. He can box his fight. He for a man who's been out of the ring game for so long, Francis. In terms of the fitness. Just slipping over there. He's good as a safe as well as an orthodox boxer in Ghana, so he's got a bit of talent also. Ngannou coming forward right at the end of the round, there's the bell. That's what he's got to do. Even against a man who's been out of the ring for so long, Tyson Fury, you know, he's been in the ring more often, so he's got to raise it, go through the gears and really... He's really going to test the stamina of Francis Ngannou, whether that... Timeout, it is a left hand, left hand, good left hand, get into the corner, solid shot that Fury took well. Yeah. Good shot, corner. Yeah, there's, that, yeah, there's that right up to go again. Up for a cut from Fury. There's excitement in people. They're witnessing also. I think everybody's spoken the week about what if, and they made the what if very simple. Changed. Ucano's still in there and firing. Good combination. Fury launching the uppercut but missing with it. And Tyson Fury comes back, tries to come back with an uppercut. Dunson Garnu seems to be getting the better of it. Push his go. Tyson Fury has to dig deep, marching forward. No answer at the moment from Tyson Fury. There's no answer, but you can, there's a look of belief in Ngannou. He thinks he can. I've never seen Tyson Fury look so ragged as he's coming forward. He's putting Tyson Fury under more and more pressure that these punches are getting. For Tyson Fury, nobody thought it was going to be like this. Hey, you try to load up on every damn thing. You're right, guys. The uppercut from Tyson Fury. Well, Francis Ungarno just replies with a good left hand there and pushes. Punch rather. But nevertheless, he's pushing your man back. And two or three shots going in there. There's your... Well, he was in dire straits against Deontay Wilder. That was a... and so, yes, he probably needs that stoppage or knockout. Ngannou wanting to be the aggressor. There's never really been a stage in the fight this year where Fury's been the dominant man. No. And all these two, Ngannou, it's given what everyone expected this is. Of course, in heavyweight boxing, things can change in a second, so has there been enough urgency from Tyson Fury in this round, Richie? Sure. Okay, a few couple of aces, one, two, a simple one, two. How are Pleased with, with what he's seen, I should Go. imagine. Hey. Usyk. I don't think they thought it was going to last like this either, Richie, if they're honest. Yes, I think most of your fans of UFC thought they yeah, probably had a good chance in those first three or four. He's been doing it, and again, sitting back, not coming forward much, is he, uh, Ngana, just being patient with his work. Well, he's punched to very big car front and had him a mile behind after four rounds. Dan Hardy was going through Tyson's mind, but surely he knows he hasn't performed well here. He's got to do something in this last round. Scorecards and who knows? The Incarnate Corner has 
from them in that corner there, but Francis and Garnu, you've got to give him an immense credit there for that 10 round. I think he's won it. Of course they are. Whether he's won it or not, it's a moral victory for him tonight. And, you know, he's, he had the conditioning to carry it through. He boxed in a way on here. I think even Tyson Fury, and not many boxes can do that, because Tyson's a very clever, he's got a great ring IQ. But Francis Ngannou there has boxed out of his skill. Celebrations from Francis Ngannou. A camera who flags are waving all around the arena. And all the celebration coming from the Ngannou corner, the Ngannou supporters. There it is there, that's that left hook, So Tyson. He said he was a bit inaccurate with his work tonight. Let's have a look at it here. There it was there, leaning forward, falling into his opponents and just get caught with that left hook. That's the shot there. Look at the crowd. Moment. Well, you could sense it in here. No one could believe what they were watching. indeed at the end. Alan Cribb scores it, 95-94, a one-point decision on the third card, winner by split decision, still undefeated from the United Kingdom, the WBC heavyweight world decision by a split decision. The Gypsy King, Tyson! Francis and Carly will be yeah. hard I think that he's been very lucky there, hasn't he, Tyson Fury? Let, let, let's get it right. Let's put it into perspective. Very lucky indeed. And the one judge that had it for what come around for Tyson, I, no, I didn't agree with that. So, yeah, he's been lucky. Split decision. He gets away with it, but... Um, yeah.